In this video, I am going to be installing Ubuntu Cinnamon 24.04 in a desktop computer. So this desktop computer is connected to the network via Ethernet cable. So this is the boot up screen. I'm going to choose the first option, try and install Ubuntu Cinnamon. So this is the installer. So I have to choose a language. I'm going to leave it as English. This is accessibility. Yeah, you can customize Ubuntu Cinnamon to your needs before you set up. So there's seeing, there's hearing, there's typing, pointing and clicking, and zoom. This is keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as is. So this is connect to internet. I'm using wired connection. This is the type of installation. How would you like to install Ubuntu Cinnamon? There are two options, interactive installation or automated installation. I'm going to leave it as interactive installation. And this is the applications menu. What apps would you like to install to start with? So the first option is a minimal installation. The second option is a full featured Ubuntu Cinnamon desktop installation. I'm going to leave it on a full featured installation. It says install recommended property software. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. I'm going to leave this checked. Download and install support for additional media formats. I'm going to leave this checked also. And this is the disk setup. How do you want to install Ubuntu Cinnamon? There's manual installation. And the first option, erase disk and install Ubuntu. I'm going to leave it selected on the first option. I'll create an account. So I'm going to type a password. I'm going to leave this check, require my password to log in, and I'm going to leave Use Active Directory checkbox unchecked. So this is where you have to select your time zone. This is correct. So here's a summary of the choices. I can always go back and make changes. I'm going to click Restart now. So I'll click on the Start menu. So this is all applications. There's Brazero. I'll open Calculator. And this version is GNOME 46.0. So this is all applications. So this is accessories. I'll click on backups. This is Deja Duke backups 45.2. So I'll go back to accessories. This is GNOTE. There's G-Edit, there's Screenshot. And I can save it in a folder in the pictures or any one of these folders. So there's virtual keyboard text info. 
This is games. Yes, yeah, Sudoku. This is Klondike. So this is graphics. There's document scanner, document viewer. This is GIMP. So GIMP is a really nice program. There's image viewer, there's shot well. This is internet, there's Firefox, Hexchat. So you have Thunderbird Mail where you can configure your email. I'll click on transmission. This is Office and LibreOffice package is installed. This is Document Viewer. So this is a PDF document. So this version 46.0. I'll open calendar. So I can create an event here and add a reminder. So this is other, this is online account. And here you can add an online account from any one of these providers. This is sound and video. This is Brazero. This is administration. This is power statistics, printers, software, software updater. The 
I'm going to cancel this. So this is the package manager. This is system monitor. So this is preferences. This is places. So I'm going to open the files folder. And this version is Nemo 6.0.2. This is a PDF document. I can also create a new folder here and I can right click that folder. I have all these menu options. I click on properties and I can assign permissions to this folder. So this is terminal and I want to see if Vim is installed. I'll type Vim. So Vim is not installed. I'll see if each stop is installed. So I'll see if VLC player is installed. So I'm going to install HTOP, Vim, and VLC. So I'll type sudo app install Vim, HTOP, and VLC. Okay, it's downloaded, so I'll type Vim, and Vim is installed. So I'm going to type each top. And I'll type VLC. So VLC Media Player is installed also. So there's also a computer icon on the desktop. There's file system. So I'll right click the desktop. I'll create a new folder. I'll right click the desktop again. Create an empty document. I can create a new launcher here. Add disklets. Change desktop background. Open as root. Customize. So I'm going to select change desktop background. So these are some of the background images. I'll click on 
display settings and these are some of the settings so i'll right click the desktop i'll click on customize and i can change the icon size So I'll right click the panel and I have all these settings here. This is panel settings. I can auto hide the panel. I can change the size of the panel. I can adjust the font size. And this is the icon size. So I can also lock the panel. I just have to click on that. Panel edit mode. So on the lower right side, this is the time and date. I can launch the player here. There's VLC player, videos. This is the network icon. This is printers. So I can also change the keyboard language. It's in English. I just have to right click, click on preferences, click on input mode and click add. So on the start menu on the left side, this is the power button. This is log out. This is lock screen. This is the files folder. This is the terminal app. So this is the Pidgin app. This is a chat app. This is system settings. These users and groups. And I can add new users here. So in this video, I installed Ubuntu Cinnamon 24.04 in a desktop computer. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.